personal demons and anxiety. Ariana Grande is known for mixing things up with her image and musical style, but some of the ways she's chosen to do that are actually pretty offensive. She's been accused of cultural appropriation, among other things, and some of her shameless attempts to be trendy to get ahead in her career are seriously unbelievable. Ariana has always been a little bit of a chameleon. You've probably seen videos of her mimicking other celebrities to sound exactly like them, so clearly she doesn't have any trouble changing the way her voice sounds. Like many pop stars before her, she always changes her look and her sound with each album that she releases. But unlike other famous singers, Ariana has supposedly changed her image by adapting specific characteristics from communities that she doesn't belong to. And the motive behind that seems to be commercial, because once she's finished with one trend, she simply moves on to the next one. And obviously, that has caused a lot of upset in those different communities. People are tired of white superstars getting to strategically pick and choose when they want to appear like they're from a different culture, but never having to deal with any of the hardships that can come with being a part of those communities. One of the most common examples that people talk about when it comes to Ariana's cultural appropriation has to do with the color of her skin. Ariana is Italian American, and if you look at old photos and videos of her from when she was younger, you can see that she actually has a pretty light complexion. But throughout the 2010s, her skin seemed to get darker and darker. It seemed like she was getting a fake tan, and it kind of looked like she was gradually choosing darker shades every time she topped off her tan. An article on Medium by Abby Hellman about Ariana made the observation that she also appeared to be accentuating her features to look racially ambiguous. It also included a photo of Ariana standing next to Nicki Minaj during a performance of their 2016 hit Side to Side and pointed out that her skin even looked darker than Nicki's. Ariana has often been accused of something called blackfishing, which is a term that has been used more and more in recent years. A non-black person pretends to be black. But how has Ariana's racial ambiguity affected her life and career? The article on Medium gave an example of how she got to be included in a wider demographic because of it. In a 2020 playlist made by Spotify for Black History Month during the Black Lives Matter movement, Ariana was the only artist included who wasn't actually black. So the argument was made that by altering her appearance to resemble a different race to her own, she was supposedly stealing the spotlight from the talented artists who were actually black. It was clarified that while Ariana has never claimed to be black or not white, she also hasn't exactly denied anything either. A lot of people have mistaken her for being Latin American, and Ariana has even fed into the popular misconception. Like when she was at Billboard's Women of the Year back in 2018, during her acceptance speech, she made a joke about inviting everyone to her quinceanera, a coming of age Mexican and Latin American tradition that she obviously never did as a teenager. She could have easily referenced something from her own cultural background, but instead she chose a custom that might have led people watching to believe that she was Hispanic. People also said that Ariana was black fishing when people of mixed race were trending, but unlike people of color, Ariana has always had the choice to return to her naturally whiter skin whenever it suited her. For example, in her 2018 cover for British Vogue, she had blonde hair and a light complexion. The Medium article commented on how a study by Condé Nast revealed that 76% of Vogue readers had a high income. The publishers for the magazine were actually called out for asking their advertisers to gear their marketing mostly toward white individuals. It showed that Ariana could always choose when she wanted to be seen as racially ambiguous or not, depending on how it benefited her and her career. But people who are labeled as black fishers are not only called out for changing their skin color, but also for the way they dress, their makeup, their hair choices, and the way they talk. All of which are things that Ariana has been accused of changing at different times while in the public eye. Actually, there are countless videos online comparing how Ariana's speaking voice has changed over the years. People have said that there are interviews where it sounds like she's adapting a way of talking that is more typically associated with people from black communities. And you can seriously notice the difference between the voice she's used back then and the voice she uses these days now that she's light skin and blonde. According to Your Tango in 2022, a side-by-side -side video of Ariana's different voices went viral and she quickly came under fire yet again for cultural appropriation. The caption for the video read, it's a fact that she had a tan black scent when mixed people were trending and now she drops the tan and the black scent. The black community isn't the only one that Ariana has been said to mimic though. In 2021, Ariana tried a new look that reportedly didn't sit well with a lot of people and this time she was accused of a 
Asian fishing, which, as you can guess, is when non-Asian people try different ways to appear like they have Asian heritage. Because of the way that she was doing her eye makeup and her noticeably lighter complexion, your tango reported that some people made the observation that the monolid look in her eyes, as well as her eyebrow lift, were common features among East Asians. So it was assumed that she was deliberately trying to look more Asian. People in the online world have been very vocal about how they aren't happy with Ariana. One user on Reddit said that she went from Latin fishing to black fishing to Asian fishing, and the change in her skin color or plastic surgery she used to get to each look was indefensible. They finished by saying that cultures were not costumes unless you were rich and famous, apparently. Another person suggested there must have been some kind of motive that persuaded her and her team to continue such disgusting actions, that it was obvious that they were profiting off of appropriating whatever POC cultures was trendy. Someone else commented that when you were rich and famous, you could get away with practically anything and not be canceled. Of course, Ariana Grande isn't the only artist who's been accused of race bending. Berkeley Bayside reported that singers like BB Rexa, Jesse Nelson, and Bad Baby also faced allegations of black fishing because of the way they changed their appearance. It's definitely a cultural problem that we're still facing today. The entertainment industry is already dominated by mainly white artists, so it's crazy to see that they can get away with mimicking different ethnic minorities when it suits them, and it's usually for profitable gain. But at the end of the day, white artists like Ariana get to choose when they want to benefit from the privilege of their natural skin color, and they don't have to face the challenges that come with being a minority. Anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Were you someone who wasn't sure about Ariana's real heritage? Do you think she'll keep on race bending to help further her career and increase her income? Let me know in the comments below.